Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm sharing a quick encouragement card featuring Pink and Main's Two Can Do It stamps and dies, the Pen Pals paper pad and the Puffy Heart stencil along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. Here's a quick look at the Two Can Do It stamp set. I'm using this adorable little croc image and the sentiment, take a bite out of life. Here's the Pen Pals paper pad. And I'm using the Chevron pattern in today's video. So I'm getting started by laying a piece of 80 pound cardstock into my Misty using Memento ink in the color Tuxedo Black to stamp the image so I can color it with Copic markers. I stamp the image several times to ensure I have a crisp dark stamped image. I have my image ready to be colored and I pull the chevron paper out so I can match my Copic colors to the paper. I'm going to speed through the coloring process while I tell you the colors I used. BG18, BG15, BG13, BG11, YR68, YR65, YR61, N4, N2, and N0. So here's that cute croc all colored up and ready to be run through the sidekick. I grab the coordinating die and secure it over the image using a piece of post-it tape, then crank it through the machine. Let's set that aside for now. So I am only going to stencil the lower third of this 110 pound card base using Hero Arts Fresh Pink, Fresh Peach ink. I'm adding the pattern paper over my card base so only a small area will be seen once I'm done. I cut the pattern paper down to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches using pinking shears. Cut the paper to mimic the croc's mouth being sure to cut it so it looks like the mouth is open. Add 3D mounting foam to the back of the pattern paper and position on the card base. Using vellum, I die cut a heart to go behind the crock, add 3D mounting foam to the back of the crock and secure to the vellum heart. I lay down 3D mounting foam where the vellum backed crock will be adhered and add silver thread letting it fall onto the mounting foam to secure, then adhere the vellum backed crock over it. I have a piece of black cardstock in my Misty, cover it with anti-static powder, stamp the sentiment using a WOW embossing pad, add white embossing powder, make sure you clean that embossing powder off, and then heat set it. So now I trim the sentiment down using my paper trimmer. I'm going to add the tails to the sentiment using my pinking shears. I just snip the ends. I add 3D mounting foam and then I adhere it to the card. So I'm going to add some pink and main sequins using my pick me up stick and glossy accents. And I decide to dress up the envelope by stamping half of the croc in the lower left corner and color the heart to match the card. So I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to create something amazing today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they are published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And then until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.